What is up everybody, it's Joshua and I'm back with another video and today's journey is definitely a lot different than something I've ever ever done before. We are out here on a nature trail in Lettuce Lake Park right off of Fletcher Avenue. I don't know how I never knew about this place but uh yeah this is just going to be basically a fun filled vlog, no theme parks, no nothing. Just going to be one with nature. Have Riley with me, we're here to just let loose and stay calm. So if you guys are ready to go on this naturist journey with me, let's go. Well, we got some swamp on either side of us. That could only mean one thing. Gators and Bigfoot. <laughs> Please respect wildlife. Do not feed. Riley, do not feed me. I am wildlife. I just want my camera. I'm sorry. She she literally forgot her camera to take pictures. At least she got a good phone that takes pictures. <laughs> but Josh never forgets his camera. I mean, that's a lie. But and it's just really pretty out here. It's so calm. It's definitely different than our theme park, you know, vibes where it's always busy and running around. But we really get to just walk and enjoy everything. <laughs> to me this is just so pretty even though the trees are dead and they're just covered in moss and it's all just marsh still very very pretty my goal today for sure, I want to see an alligator. I definitely want to see an alligator. Well, speaking of an alligator, what do we see when we turn the corner? <laughs> an alligator. Man. And he's just sitting there too. No care in the world. But since this little guy's a baby, that means mama's not far behind. Here's some of the animals we might find here on the trail. The limpkin. The limpkin. It's also called a crying bird. Yeah. He limps when he walks. Okay. And he eats, uh, looks like snails. Interesting. They screech. Caution! Here's another animal we could look for on our journey today. I don't think there's a bad spot in this place. Like literally here, and then we turn. Boom, open water. This is so pretty. I really want to start like doing videos like this where me and Riley just go to different nature trails and caves and just have a good time. Cause sometimes the theme parks definitely get stressful. And you know, with 2021 coming up, I want there to be a whole new journey. Listen, to be honest, y'all worried about uh, straws? Well, can we ban these stupid masks? Because I've seen more masks than straws in the water. Crikey! <laughs> that was so bad. But, here's another little baby gator. Right here is the picture perfect shot. And you know, what's a journey with Josh video without some uh, photo shoots going on. So make sure you check out my Instagram because Riley has been taking pictures since we've been here. And we've only been here for about maybe 20 minutes. The hammock run and boardwalk. It's the trail we were just on and we're about to continue. Let's go. Who knows, we might even see an apple snail. So I know it's kind of hard to see, but this little, the little pink thing on my screen, like right there, I think that's a type of snail, I believe. I'm not totally sure. Our first bird on this nature hike. Where did he go? Oh, where did he 
he go? There he is. Hunting for food, little guy. Enjoy. So this tree right here, this big, tall, I want to say majestic tree. With the circle of stubs. With the circle of stubs all around it and stumps, whatever you want to call them, is called the bald cypress. And in the words of Tampa J, take a picture, it lasts longer. So Riley was telling me about this watchtower that you can go up on and just basically see the whole like water side. So we're gonna go up there and uh, obviously take some pictures and I'm gonna show you a nice view. pretty look at this if I could have this like on top of my house right now this would be so great like, it's so so pretty so we're at the top of the watchtower right now and let me tell you it's just incredible if this could be like my backyard I'd be very very happy guys it's a baby woodpecker that is so cool. So unfortunately, due to the pandemic and circumstances right now, all the pavilions here are currently closed and they do not allow parties more than 10 people. So just a note, if you try to come here and you know, maybe throw a birthday party or something, they don't have any pavilions and they don't allow big parties at the moment. All right, time to do the real deal stuff. Not on a boardwalk, we are on an unmarked trail. Now you know how you uh, mark your territory? You pee on a tree. No, oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Like at the entrance there, there's just, you remember the tree, remember the tree. Or let Riley uh, lead the way and if we get lost, we blame her. Yeah, exactly. Interesting. Looks like we have some snake holes. Stick your hand in and find out what's they in there. Look like they've I'm just been kidding. Refilled. Oh, they have been refilled. Well, that's sad. So the only thing I find crazy is so they close all the pavilions so you can't like you know have a family gathering or whatever. But the playground for the kids is still open. I mean, unless they're coming by and they're cleaning it as much as possible, it doesn't make any sense to have that open at all. Let's go through the trail of nature. The nature trail. So I believe there are two trails in Lettuce Lake Park. There's the boardwalk, which we took when we first got here. And then there's this nature trail. But I think there's also some like unmarked trails that aren't actually considered like full on trails that you can take, but just be careful because they're not clearly marked. Now it's time to be honest, okay? I definitely really needed this day to just relax and kind of forget about everything. And now you're gonna be like, well Josh, why'd you film them? And to be honest, I'm not happy when I'm not filming, but I'm also, not happy when I'm under a lot of stress and hate because I don't know how to necessarily deal with it. I'm still kind of learning. But I just want to thank y'all. Like, it doesn't matter if I have 200 subscribers, it doesn't matter if I have 300, it doesn't matter if I have, you know, a few thousand. I have more love than hate. And I have to, like, realize that when I get put under the stress. And honestly, I just can't thank y'all enough. Um, I have come a long, long way on my channel. Long, you know, I've done more than I ever expected to do. I've been to more media events than I even imagined or dreamed of. And it's all because of you. Because without you, 
And without, you know, your love, your support, nobody would look at me and be like, wow, this guy has potential. And for all the haters out there, I love y'all too because uh, y'all make me stronger each and every day. And you guys just keep making me want to grind more and more because, well, honestly, like I said, I'm stressed when I'm not filming. And the only time I don't film is when I think of y'all haters. But uh, let's keep this journey going and uh, let's get back to happy thoughts.